the chapter four notes 4.1 correlation correlation is a relationship between two variables the data can be represented by the order pair x y when x is the independent or we sometimes call it the export explanatory variable and y is the dependent or response variable the graph of ordered pairs x y is called a scatter plot there are several versions of a scatter plot when the the dots appear to be falling as you go from left to right. Um, that is a negative linear correlation. So as the X increases, the Y tends to decrease. If the dots appear to be increasing, going up towards the sky, um, as you go from left to right, then that is a positive linear or correlation. So as the X increases, the Y increases. If the dots appear to be just going all over the place and there's no actual pattern, this is called uh, no co correlation. Um, there is no increase or decrease in the Y or the X, it just appears to be random. If it appears to be have a shape similar to what would be a quadratic, so a, a frowny face or a happy face, we call that a non-linear correlation. And if it is a, a frowny face or a happy face, we call those quadratic correlations. If it appears to be almost like a check mark look, so it appears to be dropping and then eventually it starts to kind of uh, level off, this is called exponential correlation. It's also a nonlinear. So on our calculators, there are separate different options for exponential and quadratic. So here are the steps for using the TI Inspire to construct a, a scatter plot. They're similar to the ones that we use to find mean and standard deviation. However, there are some changes. So we're going to go to new document, pick number four list, and put in our values for the X and the Y in the A and B column. And we do need to label each column A or X and Y, or some, um, it could be age and blood pressure, or whatever you want to call it, but it does have to have labels. Control doc, plus, uh, and then pick number five for data and statistics. Then if you push the tab button on your calculator, you can select X, then do um, on the horizontal, so the left to right. Then you can push tab again, pick select Y for the up and down vertical. Okay, so that is how you would draw a scatter plot. Once we get the scatter plot, we want to analyze it. So we would look at the, the way the scatter plot looks. If it appears to be a linear, so either that negative falling or the positive climbing, you would want to choose the regression to kind of to get the equation and we would push menu 461 on the same page that we were on just a minute ago. If it looks to be a, a smiley face or a frowny face, we would use menu 464. If it appears to be kind of a check mark, either descending or ascending, then we would be doing an exponential and we would pick 468. For statistics, we will simply use uh, choice A. For my math models classes, we do all three. To make predictions, we are going to push control doc and then choose number one for the calculator. And then we can actually use a, a trick on the calculator that allows us to type in the equation without having to remember any of the numbers. So there's a button that says BAR, VAR, it's right above the number nine on your calculator. You would choose the stat.m. This is the, me, uh, the slope of the line that you found in step five. Then you push times. Put, type in the X that they're asking you to predict from, plus push the VAR button again and pick step B, which is the Y intercept from that line from part A. And that will actually give you the Y that matches the X, any random X after, uh, based on the line that we discovered in number five. Okay, so when you find the correlation, there is a numeric value that we use and it makes it a lot easier to determine what is the type of correlation. It is called the correlation coefficient and is the measure of the strength and the direction of the linear re representation between the two variables. And it works for linear, but it does not work for quadratic or exponential. There is a really nasty looking formula here. Um, we are not going to work through this formula. I just wanted you to see what it would look like. The great thing about these calculators, they do all the work for us. So we can actually use a um, menu option on the calculator to find what R is. But if you would go back to our list page, which would have been our first tab, you'll push menu 412, 
this and then enter whatever you called your X and whatever you called your Y and push the OK button. And then if you scroll down in the list, you will find R and that is the coefficient. We want to round to three decimal places with the coefficient. The correlation coefficient tells us the percentage of strength that the, uh, the, the two X and Ys have in relationship to each other. So the higher the number of relationship, the higher the strength. The lower the number, the correlation, closer to zero, the lower the strength. If it's positive, then it's a positive correlation. If it's a negative, it's a negative correlation. So here's example one from our assignment. And I'm going to walk you through all of the steps you would have. These are the uh, equation problems. On, and I'm also going to include a second video that will walk you through how to do it on this uh the sheets to create the, the scatter plot and all of um, so that this will draw for you on sheets and discover and give you this information. So on our calculator, we're going to walk it through all the steps. So we're going to push number one and again, never save anything. Um, pick number four for list and we are going to go up into the A and to the B and type in our X and Y and then we'll simply type in our um, X's and then we'll go back up and type in our Y's. Ten sets of data, so I am at the spot I need to stop for the X's and then I'm going to go back up and do my Y's. You do need to make sure to hit enter after each prob entry so that the calculator recognizes that number is being inputted. All right, so the next step is that we're going to push control doc and pick number five. This gets our dots on there, but they're not in any order because we haven't told the calculator what the X and Y variable is. So push the tab button, which is right here on the right above control, and it will pop up a screen. So we're going to pick X for the horizontal, push tab again, go down to Y and push enter. So these dots appear to be basically climbing from left to right. So it is a positive linear correlation. They basically look like a line. And we want to check to see what the regression equation would be. So we're pushing menu. We're going to go to four for analyze, six for regression, one for linear. And that will give us, show the, draw the line and show us what the equation is. So as you can see, I've basically reproduced that the scatter plot. My scatter plot dots are not exactly the same as these because obviously I'm not perfect. Um, if you want to use uh, graph paper, it will make it a little cleaner. But as long as it, you get the general idea of where the dots should have been, you should be okay. Using the sh uh, spreadsheet, it will actually reproduce the same image on your Chromebook. Um, as accurately as you're seeing it on your calculator. So using the, the calculator, we found the regression equation is 1.705 times x plus 80.255. The calculator gives you much more digits behind the decimal than I am writing down. Three decimal places is plenty. So we're going to now find our correlation coefficient, which I've already written down as r is 9.908. On our calculator, the way you do that, is you go to back to your tab that had the um, list in it, push menu, then pick four, one, and because we're doing two variable, we're going to pick two, four, one, two, so x, comma, x and y, and then we go down to our OK. You can use tab to get jump through all of the different choices and then it will pop in our information. Now this gives us all the information about the X's and the Y's. So you see the mean of the X, the standard deviation of the X, and how many pairs there were for the end. You see the mean of the Y's, the standard deviation of the Y's, and then you'll see R. R is your standard, is your uh, regression, uh, correlation co coefficient. So we see 0.90, of 0 0.908386, and we only need three decimal places, so we're going to do 0 0.908908. You also will see the min and the max and all of the big five on the x's, so min, 
first quartile median, second quartile or third quartile max, and then you'll see the same thing for your Ys. So if I'm asking you to do a project, hint, hint, um, where you would be analyzing, these are all, all pieces of information that you would include in your project for identifying that data. And then there's other information down here which we do not need to worry about. So again, for the R, we are just looking for where it says R and uh, rounding to three decimal places. So our interpretation then says that 90.8% of our positive correlation between the men's age and their systolic blood pressure. For any of you that are going into medicine, this is going to be something you will do in a um, one of your medical courses. Okay, so this is the um, example pro problem number one on the assignment, and I'm working through it all the way so that you can see uh, what you would do. So we first want to find, uh, create a scatter plot, and we are going to highlight both columns, and then go to insert, click on chart, and then once it pops up, once it pops up, you will need to change the column chart selection to a scatter plot, which is further down. Okay, and you want to make sure that it is showing um, the X and the Y. So the X should be the ages and the Y should be the stock. And that looks very much similar to what our calculator was doing. I want to get the equation on the calc on here. We actually have to go to Customize, go to Series, and click on Trend Line. And that will give you your line. We should always use the equations from the um, from our calculator. Um, however, to be able to see what the trend line would look like, we are using the trend line here. I think what we're going to... And then you'll want to make sure to reshape it to fit in the box that I've already pre-set up. Okay? All right, so for the R squared, we're going to follow these steps. You're going to calculate the correlation coefficient by going to insert, uh, insert, go to function, click on statistical, and then choose coral, C-O-R-R-E-L. Click on that, and the first thing you'll do is highlight your first column just the numbers, push comma, and then highlight the second column. And then hit enter. And as you can see, it gave us the same correlation our calculator did. And we would want to make it smaller, so we're gonna use the down arrow to go down to three decimals. And that will get us to that. Okay, and then the last type is we are going to identify the type of correlation, which you will say something like linear or positive linear. And that is how you will do problems one through eight. So again, the chart, remember to always highlight everything including the, the titles. When you're highlighting to figure out the correlation, only highlight the number parts of the columns. Problem nine, we're going to um, calculate the correlation coefficient, a same setup. You're going to click on it, go to insert, function, statistical, coral, and then highlight your first column for your x's, comma, highlight your second column for your y's, and then enter. Okay. So to find the core critical value of um, at point zero 0.01, we're going to click on our other tab and we're going to find where the N is 10 and the A is 0 0.01. So our coefficient, uh, correlation coefficient is 0 